Judge orders Chicago University to release Bola Tinubu's record to Atiku Abubaka within two days. Certify authenticity under oath. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP Atiku Abubaka, has landed a major victory in the United States as part of his ongoing push to demonstrate Bola Tinubu's ineligibility to be Nigeria's president. People Gazette reports. <laughs> this uh, article, I even learned that he said even if he does not win at the Supreme Court, that there's a, another place he's going to take the, the case to. And we all know that... Uh, Supreme Court is the highest court in the land. Uh, some people are saying that uh, the same judgment they got at the tribunal is what is awaiting them at the Supreme Court. I am expecting Renaud Mokri to say something concerning this. Where is he? No, where is he? He's not going to say anything. You will see that uh, you want to divert or divert the attentions of Nigeria to talk about to be. That is to, that is to tell you that uh, he's a shameless person. Now that a uh, Atiku has been pressing Tinubu's neck. <laughs> pressing Tinubu's neck. Even while Tinubu is in the US, Atiku don't see win the case. Everybody don't say, oh, God, Tinubu, you, you go rest now. Wait, thing. You know they tire. They are even saying that, eh, hey, nothing go come out. Even if uh, they do this, this and even if they confirm and say Tinubu no go school, you do this and that. It has nothing to do. It has no benefit at the Supreme Court here. But let's see how it goes. But some people said, okay, we know it might not be relevant because of the system we have in nigeria but let us even know what is right or what is not right if at the end of the day it happens that uh, yes tinubu really went to the school everybody go rest they don't say you fight a good fight and that's why people are people who are of good mind of good or sound mind are saying that uh, the supreme court let them even do it to a logical conclusion let them get to the last whatever because at the end of the day posterity should not come and judge them that uh, why did you stop halfway they say you are wasting your money. Mm, so be it. It's their money that they want to waste. It is their money they want to waste. So now they have given the school two days. <laughs> okay. Oh, a federal court in Chicago ruled on Tuesday night that Chicago State University must turn over all records relating to Mr. Tinumbu to Mr. Bubaka within two days, saying the former vice president has been able to sufficiently satisfy the purpose for seeking the records. According to the ruling seen by People's Gazette, Judge Jeffrey Gibbert also ordered the deposition of designated Chicago State University within two days after the records have been released, noting further that the process can be continued during the weekend if necessary. I'm sure a lot of people were rejoicing that, uh, oh, they release a transcript, they do this and that. But what they are saying now is that there are two results. The one submitted to INEC, they still want to confirm again with the one they, they first submitted. You know, Tinubu, eh, everything about him is shrouded in secrecy. If he they shop with, not be everybody, he go fake catch you. Just like eh, the Mubas case, you see, the way it's going, people never thought that eh, it's going to come out the way it came out or it's coming out. Well, presidents and the chief of staff, bed of the same feathers, flock together. Is it not yet clear that Nigeria is doomed? If Tinubu wants to keep a lasting legacy, let him honorable resign and put a stop to what is coming. Hey, just like that, put a stop to what? Are you for real? Are you joking? Are you dreaming? <laughs> Doggy presidents come froster. That is notwithstanding, Tinubu remains our president, and nothing any more anyone can do about it. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. But let them release this thing. I think they should be jubilating this. And let them release it now after all the. Chicago State University, they had already released this current transcript and what have you. Hmm. All this wasted effort on pre-election matters. Okay. It does not matter. If at the end of the day it's confirmed that uh, if, uh, you know what he uh, took, uh, is looking for is what he got and everything is fine with you. Know, at least there's more there's gonna be respect again to Tinumbu as well. Don't you like it? Uh huh. Oh yeah, Tifnumbu supporters carry the go. Are you not supporting him again? He has he has clean certificates. Criminal who to power got to power by coup. Thank God America is not Nigeria. Let me wait else he will say to Supreme Court Bagman. That is where truth is the order of the day. I am tired of this court issue. Tinubu winning today and Asiku winning tomorrow. Why the Naira is crashing against major currencies? Some of us 
stalking on this issue appear not to know that reputation and character are involved. It is the U.S. case is in favor of Atiku. Obviously, Tinubu reputation and character are destroyed forever. It is doubtful if he will continue in his interest as Nigeria president with such a disturbing stain around his neck. In that case, resignation may be his option. He probably be charged to court for false declaration. Are you sure? May I still believe or say the results will be he go fine. Uh-huh. <laughs> he go see the okay. But at least it will see uh, high the moral of uh, Tinumbu if everything is fine at the end of the day. Well, this is a bold step. Nigerian politics will take a very long time to mature. Nigerian politicians care very little about national interest but are fixated on power grabbing. And when they grab the power, the egotistically the nonsense. This is why Nigeria is neither here nor there. So guys, I know we here with you now. Think of concerning this matter, whether na article supporters na they go they appeal last last so I've been at Tinubu go happy or go laugh last last so we go no. No matter what.